Hi, this is Chris Tarr with Everyday VBA. Today we're going to, be, going to be looking at if statements. So that's the if, then, else, or else, if, and then, and if. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to do statements that have a, a compound um, or, or multiple criteria. So I want to show you how to do that. Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead. I've got my split screens going here. What we're going to do is we're going to open up a module. We're going to go sub ifs. All right, so we're going to go if cells. Now we're in cells 3, 2, 3, row 3, column 2, is greater than 5, and cells. 3, 2 is less than 20, then end if. Typically what I'll do is I'll put the end if at the end. Any time I put an end, um, an if, I'll do the end if, and then if I have an else, I'll put in the else as well. So we're going to send a return to cells 3, comma, 3. And this is going to be between. And this could be what anything that I wanted to put in there. And then I'm basically going to copy this. Okay, we're going to copy this and we're going to go not between. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to run this <clears throat> quick little macro. I'm going to hit F8. That walks us through. It does not like cell because it is cells. F8. It's going to say, well, is that greater than 5 and is it less than 20? So it's going to say, yep, that is between. So we're going to put in 3, 3, which is right there, between. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually validate this here. We're going to go, we're going to do 1. Okay, so we're going to go F8. Notice it's not between, and that's going to be not between. Now, since we don't have um, greater than or equal to, so if I actually put five in here, it's actually it's actually going to go not between. So if we wanted to make that actually um, le greater than or equal to, or less than equal to, this is your change. So, okay. So now what we're going to do <coughs> is we're going to do or. So I'm going to show you real quick. Now we've got five. I'm going to put in one, right? And we are. This is an or statement. So this is. It's. It is less. It's less than twenty, and it's or greater than five. And actually, in every case, we actually couldn't find a number that would be that would fall without outside of this first first one because if we went greater, um, if we went fifty. It's still going to fall within there because it's going to be greater than 5. It's going to be less than 20. So what you have to do on the, in this case with an OR statement is you've got to make sure that your um, it's got to be greater than, let's say, 25 and less than 10. And that will get us the between that we're looking for. Uh, it actually does it's not necessarily between, but it is greater than 25, which is 50, and it's less than 10. So um, this would be, we would have to switch these because of our order of operations. So this would be not between, and this would end up being between. So if we came in here, so if we change this to 1, it's going to still be not between because it's now if we come in here let's find one that's between so we're just going to do 11 come back here if and it's going to go between but that's that's kind of a, a, a quick look at doing multiple criteria you can actually do if statements with tons of criteria. Um, 
you know this in this case it's just two criteria but you do need to make sure that when you do multiple criteria that it, this has to be a true false so it's going to test this um, so for example notice how it says false this has to be false um, or when you <clears throat> when you first start coding typically what you'll do is you'll do something like this you'll basically take this out um, and you'll get an error and you'll wonder why well I I want it to be greater than this or um, or you put in a comma or something like that that's not that doesn't work because it, it has to be two separate statements um, that are either true or false and so in this case we're gonna go three comma two and then we had less than or equal to um, but that just shows you really quick <clears throat> just a, a little a little more detail into the if statement you'll use these a lot there's a lot of ways to use them um, this is just just one of those ways hope you enjoyed Thanks again for watching this video. Please subscribe to the Everyday VBA YouTube channel. Please join the VBA community at everydayvba.com. And most importantly, learn VBA.